When you have a busy cafe, electricity is the one cost you can't avoid. Trying to reduce our, our use of electricity really isn't feasible. I mean, the kitchen's got to run. But up and down the country, businesses and households have been making the hard choices. With a little baby, we obviously have to make sure that she's comfortable so, so the aircon does get a fair bit of use. Uh, we're not looking forward to the next build-up. You really don't have a choice. You've got to use it. We went about nine months without buying cucumbers because they were ridiculously expensive. Wholesale coal and gas prices are to be capped and $3 billion put towards helping those on Commonwealth payments keep up with their energy bills. We're certainly not suggesting that this is a magic bullet or we'll see energy prices fall. What we are suggesting is that this takes the big impact of the increases out of the, out of the system. The federal government says its energy plan will take $230 off the average Australian power bill. But don't expect your bills to get cheaper. Treasury modelling is still predicting a hike of 47.6% over the next two years. It will do the opposite of what's needed. It will destroy investor confidence in bringing on new supply and that's the key to bringing down prices. But with many struggling already with rising rent and energy costs, there's a call for urgency. We need governments to work hard and quickly to design this package well so that the most relief is going to those most in need and we need to get that relief out the door as quickly as possible. The point here is not that anyone's household energy bills will go down, it's more a case of slowing the rise. The caps on wholesale prices are supposed to remain in place for a year, but with the war in Ukraine showing no signs of ending yet, there could be more pain to come. But first, the parliament is being recalled on Thursday to pass laws to support the plan. It's great that we hear those announcements, but then like, how does that practically impact us? It's, it's very vague. The government is hoping to see a start on the plan by the first quarter of next year. Elizabeth Byrne, ABC News, Canberra.